Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic. In this video, what I'm going to be demonstrating is how to source candidate emails from LinkedIn using Google. So Google does a very, very good job at indexing websites, scraping them, giving us the sort of feedback on that. And in LinkedIn search function doesn't do that. So if you type in, for example, uh, at Gmail, you won't get the sort of search criteria that Google would full up because Google scrapes the whole page so you get a few emails here and there, but you don't necessarily get a massive number. Like I don't believe that there's that many people with their email just showing. It's only if it shows it in the title here. It doesn't actually scrape their whole profile. It's not. It's only exact match for that. So on Google, we can actually find candidate emails. And why this is powerful, so let's say we land on someone's profile and we actually want, you know, say this guy's a collection specialist or whatever that is and we want his email address or we want to find candidates in a certain location that would be possibly um, you know available so this guy's a relief pharmacist and we need them in London how do we attract or find those type of people and bear in mind we want their email addresses so just as quick note this is not I don't believe this is GDPR compliant so if you're in the UK or Europe or any country that abides by that law, you can probably not use this method. Um, that, that would probably be the the only legal issue with this. If you're in the United States or any other country or you have a server outside or whatever, you, you're free to obviously use this method um, as well. Now, it's not to say that many people don't use it. I'm just showing you for educational purposes how to actually do the method. So it's very simple. So I'm logged into my LinkedIn account, nothing fancy, and I'm just going to type site um, linkedin.com and I want to find an accountant and I want them to be in London and yeah let's search that and oh sorry and we want a gmail address so as you can see from these they've given off email addresses now sometimes you're going to have, this is like my personal regime, you might get a business email so it might be them just trying to solicit um, business so they might just be using a Gmail account but they actually have. Now we've picked up 60,000 results so for example if we wanted to build a database of this person potentially we could scrape her profile, save as a PDF and add her details onto our CRM. Now, Donna would be contactable if we ever need her in the future because her email, her, uh, email address was made public, yeah? And you can contact me or call me if it's urgent, yeah? And that's a personal address. Now, the other way you can do it is simpler or, you know, the same thing, hotmail.co.uk, yeah? Now this will yield le less results, but it's the same story over and over again. So if a client gives you a job, yeah, you're looking for a nurse in London, it's the same thing. You've got email addresses of these people, and these are sought after um, candidates. It's not to say that you can't obviously find <coughs> any type of candidate. And the issue with LinkedIn is you have to go on there, and you have to, you know, connect with them. You have to message them in order to get their email to email them yeah so you have to connect you have to add a note and you have to say hello Anna hello Anna etc yeah and you have to send them a, a request and you have to wait for them to request and they might not be active on LinkedIn this is a method where you can actually scrape email addresses and you've got them now so if I want to do a more narrow search let's say in Enfield you can even find that so I need a candidate which is a nurse in Enfield Enfield is a small a smallish town in North London yeah you can obviously narrow it down to Barnet is another one that's local to Enfield so in order for that you've just scraped 200 email addresses maybe more maybe less depending on some of the search criteria might not be fantastic um, but these are what you can see the snippets here are all showing that that might not be an actual person well potentially it could be but you know you haven't used Outlook outlook.com yeah that's another one 
we've got various different email addresses um, if you're looking for someone that speaks a different language you can type outlook.france possibly .fr so you end up finding people with those sort of you know criteria that specific specific skill set in that location it's basically a CV database and I trust if you search nurse Enfield outlook.com plus gmail.com and all of those searches what usually happens is that will probably be about the same number you'd get from a paid total job subscription like and not many people know this method the only time they're going to come across a candidate's profile or something that makes them see all oh, this is no one really does this so if they go on here and they see Jim's oh they see it as a gold mine wow I've actually got the email address oh I can contact him uh, let me download it and contact him now this is not to say that you couldn't actually you know you want everyone you don't just want to come across a golden nugget here and there we've got the database of these people and we're using Google and LinkedIn literally to scrape whoever we want so chief of technology would anyone come up it's the question and we've got that many come up and if you want to put it in Texas for the USA we've got actual chief of technology people with their Gmail that's fine look he's put it like that so you, no one can automatically scrape it he's a chief of technology he knows what he's doing mate yeah <sighs> This is this is unbelievable if you think about how powerful this is. Access to these candidates, their personal data is usually charged at a very high rate. Yeah. And these people aren't on job boards, websites. And if you probably say, Oh, they don't want recruiters contacting them, so why are you putting your email address if you don't want people to contact you? Yeah? It's like putting a picture online and you don't want people to actually look at it. It's ridiculous. Like these people want to be contacted whether it whether or not it's from us yeah and if you're saying oh I need a software engineer engineer yeah well we've just found you know 40,000 email addresses from LinkedIn and before anyone says to me I've tried everything and I can't find candidates there's always a way when you look down this is what separates a good recruiter from a bad recruiter so I hope in my heart another secret is out of the bag and if you've got any questions let me know I'll be happy to address them but thank you as always for watching and take care